Morrowind is a land of trade, commerce, industry, and uh, yes, of course, adventure. But for all those towns and cities, there are ports, trade routes, harbors for all varieties of craft. From cargo ships hauling goods between the major settlements, to little long boats ferrying passengers to and fro, to silt striders connecting the inland towns, to river striders darting across the Tavani Isles. Morrowind is a land rife with travel options and connections, and now you can fully experience the immersive nature of taking a boat between Ebonheart and Andothrin, or of taking a silt strider from Bomora to Sidonin. A whore of taking a river strider to Port Tavonis. All in real time, with full freedom of movement. A courtesy of today's more the day. For today, we're showcasing immersive travel by our fuser. An immersive real time travel mod. Immersive travel allows you to experience boat and silt strider travel in real time. With full support for both Vanilla Morrowind and the Terry Built Mainland allowing you to experience a full trip between any number of destinations. Uh, now, you know, this isn't a new concept, of course. Uh, we've had Abbott's real-time travel mods for over a dozen years now, and those mods are still pretty great. Uh, and to be clear, you know, immersive travel, while it does many of the same things as Abbott's travel mods, isn't a complete replacement of those older mods. And indeed, the two mods can actually be used together, which is quite handy as, you know, Abbott's travel mods do include features not yet implemented into immersive travel, like dynamically spawning boats and salt striders, and customization options for adjusting real-time speed. So Abbott's mods do still have a few advantages over this newer modernization. Uh, but with that said, immersive travel is just an incredibly impressive, beautiful, and transformative experience, providing a new alternative for real-time travel that that is just an absolute pleasure to experience for yourself. And I can think of no better way to show this off than by just going on a little boat trip. Immersive Travel supports the latest release Atari built, just right out of the box, with new interconnected travel routes with Ardenfell, allowing you to grab a ship from Ebonheart and sail to Andothrin, or Old Ebonheart, or even almost there, you know, providing you with a scenic journey across the inner sea. If you'll, if you'll just indulge me a bit, I'll narrate one of the dozens of trips I made with immersive travel, sailing on a boat from Ebonhot to Old Ebonhot. Uh, for it is just quite a scenic and a fun experience. Right away you'll notice the smooth ship animations as we make a turn from the docks of Ebonhot and past the harbour of Avec, before leaving the Norwegian Bay through the great gates of Kalantir's seawall of Avec. Uh, now, I'm not alone on this journey, uh, for there are other passengers, randomly copied from the NPCs back at port. So I'll have a few familiar faces alongside me while we travel across the inner sea. And uh, as a note, uh, this does support companion mods, so any companions that you have will appear visibly with you on this real-time trip. At my position on the boat isn't static either. I can change spots with the touch of a key, going from the back of the large cargo ship to the front, or the sides, or I could engage free movement, which will allow me to wander about the deck as I please. And this is just such a tranquil experience. With distant land and a few landmark mounds, it is an absolute joy to just sit back and watch the scenery pass by to observe those mighty towers of the Citadel of Old Ebonhalt as we get ever closer. Uh, you know, uh, this, is, uh, this is one of the things I've always loved about real-time travel mods. Uh, so much of Morrowind is, you know, about going to and fro, doing one adventure after another, and, you know, sometimes it's just, it's just nice to sit back, relax, and uh, watch the world go by. They become fully absorbed in this just 
beautiful, beautiful world, which has so many amazing sights for you to see, all the more enhanced by the lush and varied environments of the Tarrybilt mainland. There's a variety of different crafts that ply the waters as well. For travel between major ports, uh, you'll often be sailing aboard large cargo ships, like between Old Ebonheart and Almasthir, or between Andothrin and Vivek, or Sadrif Mora and Firewatch. Between uh, smaller settlements, though, uh, you'll travel aboard long ships, small craft that fly atop the waves, ferrying passengers to and fro between these small towns and villages. Uh, as an example, uh, during my playthrough, I hopped a ferry between Andothrin and the tiny imperial town of Tin, alongside a handful of passengers, a burly orc and a Dunmiri fisherwoman. Uh, like with the cargo ships, uh, you can change your position on the craft, or engage free movement to just wander about the deck as you please. The sailing animations for the ships here are just simply exquisite. The way the vessel turns, the way it sways across the water, it, it, it's honestly just a bit mesmerizing, and, and notably the animations are smoother than Abbott's real-time travel mods. Uh, though again, as I've mentioned, that isn't really a replacement for those mods, you know, more a, more a supplement. Uh, still, the new animations and the level of integration here of Terry Built is just an absolute delight. There's no better way to experience the new content of the mainland than uh, getting to explore it from a ship or atop a Silt Strider. And, you know, uh, speaking of Silt Striders, uh, yes, you can experience real-time travel with Silt Striders too. Uh, obviously, they're just a, a little more limited in terms of the positions that you can move to since, you know, that they're not as big as a cargo ship. Uh, but uh, they again have some just splendid animations courtesy of steel, providing you with just a majestic traveling experience over land, allowing you to just uh, to fully immerse yourself in the beauty of Morrowind's passing landscapes. Uh, whether that be the harsh, desolate beauty of the Ashlands as you travel between Morgan and Aldrun, or the various hills of the lower Anthurian region as you sit atop a silt strider traveling between Omisthir and Amra. And, uh, by the way, immersive travel not only covers the silt striders of the mainland, uh, but it also covers the river, or uh, water striders as well. So you can travel the seas of the far east upon the backs of the massive river striders, as they ply the waves between the settlements of the Tawani Isles. Uh, naturally, this might look a bit strange. Uh, you know, the river striders are one of the older assets in Tarry built, and uh, the animations are just a little more basic, but uh, still, it's a neat feature. With uh, full support for not just Tarry built, but also beautiful cities of Morrowind, Solstein Tomb of the Snowprint, the Great Sea Wall of Avec, and uh, numerous other popular mods, Immersive Travel is easily just one of the best mods released so far this year. And uh, I, I really do just, I really do love it. Uh, small confession, but I took hours and hours of video footage of immersive travel. Uh, just because it's so relaxing to experience. Uh, you're only seeing a tiny, tiny fraction of that here. Uh, I, I, I can safely say that immersive travel is now a permanent part of my install. And uh, if you haven't checked it out already, I would just, I would highly, highly recommend it. But uh, that's, uh, that's probably enough to give you a feel for all these real-time vehicles, so uh, that's, uh, that's just our mod of the day. Uh, as always, I've been your host, our golf guy. Thanks for watching, stay safe, stay healthy, happy modding, and I'll just, I'll uh, see you all next time. Where would you like to go?